It all started really early when I was just dissatisfied with the way the world was. That uh, there was not enough love for each other. And it was just always uh, about accomplishing something that you always just had a value once you accomplished something. And then from there uh, I slid into depression and anxiety actually because I, I just um, I just remember when I was 14 or so that I was like super depressed and, and lonely uh, and I didn't really want to live anymore you know uh, from there um, I just kind of continued with the path that was given by society so you go to school then you maybe go to uni or you get a job and then you work and, and all that and it seemed so pointless to me and I didn't know what I what I'm supposed to do in this world you know there, there was no purpose for for me and I think that's actually where many people struggle these days that there's just no purpose in uh, the way our economy sets up our lives Instead of cooperating, we are competing. This is the main basis of our economy at the moment. Uh, we always ask like, okay, when you do something for me, what do I get out of it? We always just have this uh, egocentric view where we say like, okay, what do I get out of it? From there, you know, uh, it, is, it is very difficult for, for us to, um, to move away. So most of the time when I p uh, present uh, the gift economy to people, they are like, oh, okay, so uh, you're do doing something for free for them and then they uh, exchange something, they give you something back. I'm like, no, that's not the point. The point is actually that you just give something without any expectation, you just give it out of pure love. And uh, in, in my case, I want to inspire people to do the same because I think the more people experience that, um, that beautiful feeling of giving, uh, the, the more happy the world will be. My personal way of the gift economy is basically just removing yourself from from money completely and I think you you actually can do this because in in our first world countries at the moment we have so much money and, and so much wealth uh, still we we're, we're striving towards more and more and more but we don't need it uh, and we could instead in, of investing into more consumption we could actually invest into into people and create a system that will benefit not only us but also the planet and, and nature so i came up with that idea of the gift economy and i thought okay maybe i can just do what i used to do in the gift economy maybe i can just um, uh, teach surfing or windsurfing or any other sport that i taught and um, ask for no money and instead tell people okay when you come here then just take what you got in here and pass it on to someone else, do exactly the same. And therefore we would create a loop of maybe infinite sharings. And therefore we would uh, remove ourselves from that capitalistic uh, drive towards consumption because we need to make profit uh, and instead create social bonds and live happily together.
course you have to be able to just receive and also just be happy about that. But it's it's what it triggers in people. It's like and because it it becomes kind of a necessity. It's it's not. Even, I mean, for me at least, it felt like I really I really wanted to. I I really had that, this urge inside of me to to help him also to give him something. And that's that's so nice that that this is in the human being. I think that's and not only for that person to human. feel helped by another person, but also yeah. for the person to actually actively choosing to help yeah. another person in that moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. It's really nice. It's a nice way of, way of kind of uh, waking up this urge to help mm. and the will to help. That when you whenever you see somebody helping. You also inspired yourself to help. Hmm. Yeah, it is a chain reaction somehow. It's just really beautiful because I think it's really true. Hmm. Whenever we see someone like then also like doing whatever he does, we get inspired and we can do whatever, even if it's a small thing. We can do something for someone. Then somebody else will see this. Yeah. That we're doing someone something for someone, and then everybody starts doing a bit. Hmm. It feels much better to work in, in such a concept because uh, what I'm doing is actually fulfilling me. It's it's not that I'm doing it for the money, I'm doing it for the people. And I see that gratitude and that feels really good. I think that's actually the, the best payment you can get, you know, um, just doing something for other people and, and not just for, for yourself. That whole selfishness is uh, like a, it's, it's a little trap you know it seems like okay the more I get and, and that's what capitalism tells us the more I get and the more I buy and the more I experience with my money the better life I will have but it, it, it's actually the, the contrary the, the more I give the more I actually share my love and love is a little bit different than uh, other resources because the more love you spread the more you also get back the more you spread it the more it, it grows Of course the gift economy doesn't require you to move into a van or into nature, even though I recommend that. But it's more about the little actions that count. Day by day we have choices to make, so why not make them in a way that makes us happier and this planet a better place? The free evolution stands for that, these little decisions that create change on a bigger scale, something you usually wouldn't do. And if it's just the smallest action, like giving ice cream to some stranger, or paying for someone else's bus ticket, you'd be surprised how it shifts things around. And I really urge you to reach out, drop us a message if what you just learned sounds interesting. We won't charge you of course, but we really want to help. Take care.